I am Overseer Ragit, a keeper of the old ways. I sense you have potential, and I can help you if you like. I've got more pressing matters to attend to. Better than the opportunity I offer? You have power and strength in the Force, but you must be tested beyond the trials your masters have set for you. I administer the rite of blood and bone, a ritual performed beyond this doorway. It is a rite acolytes have participated in for 10,000 years. I'm sure you were young and pretty back then. Yes, I am shriveled. I am infirm. Yet, I survive. More than most Sith can say. Learn from my example. In the chambers, past the gateway, there is a colony of Shyraks. My leather-winged, razor-talent children and their brood. They guard a mountain of skulls. An altar to the Academy's failures. You must reach the bones before proceeding. What is that guy doing in my cutscene? Get that guy out of my cutscene. Completely breaking the fourth wall here. I don't appreciate dramatic pauses. Then I will continue. You must claim a skull from the mountain and return to the antechamber. Soak the skull in the blood pool and come to me. Once bone has turned red, I will look and see your nature written in crimson stains. And possibly a glimpse of your future. I think I'd rather have credits. I deal in ephemeral affairs, not credits. To complete the right is to accept one's death, to steal one's own mortality. But it is also a trial of power. As are all Sith trials, a trial to test strength and to grant it. I will await you here. If you die, I will forget you. Yeah. Ah, level six. Ah, no, I'm not enough. I, I'm not gonna waste my time trying to do that. that quest. Is hard, and it's not even a heroic quest, but it's a hard quest. No, I've done it a few times, and it's it's a pain. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? All I've seen is dust and tombs, not very impressive. Then you have not been blinded by your master's claims. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. Only if you believe red skin makes you pure. Red skin is only a mark. It is the strongest indicator of a mighty heritage, but not the only one. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. Who are you to judge whether Sith are pure or inferior? As an agent of the Emperor and the Dark Council, I will report to them, and if necessary, seek ways to restore hereditary supremacy. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the Overseers. Allow the Holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the Overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. Alright, someone's got race up the butt. We have to be pure. Blah, blah, blah. One thing I will note about that is that uh, some of the lines of dialogue or what have you are kind of kind of dependent on what I mean the lines don't change what is with this what, an additional quest uh why isn't it tracking all of my quests does it think it's too high of a level because then I it's not all you do is run around but now I got to go into my inventory to get to the blood scanner holocron instead of it being over here for me to use. 
There it is. Ugh, stupid. Hold on, Interf hold on, interface editor. Okay, my quest tracker is like uber small. That's why. Yomp. Let's move it down. Ta da! Save. Alright, that'll be alright for now. There we go, that's what's going on. Okay, da 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 da. Oh, I gotta speak to Lord Barris. He's upstairs. Which one's which? That's that's Darth Barris. All right, we'll go speak to Darth Barris first. We'll get that other one when we're ready to level up and we need more abilities anyway. Oops, getting stuck on stuff. Getting stuck on stuff. Damn it. There, Tino. I believe that's the one. All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm at you for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? For your own good, curb your curiosity. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, We'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Vemrin. We'll kill him for you. Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. So, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience. But consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns up dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man, and we're going to have the most potent of allies. Huh, that's not what I chose the first time on my playthrough on the opening of this character. I'm definitely curious to see how that turns out. Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vemrin. I see the upstart, but no sign of Dolgus. Clemrel, Vemrin, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemrin, Supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's going to have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Venron has paid his dues. He's fought a debt stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand. Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your war blade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Coravan instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your 
mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. Uh-huh. I'll remember that, and someday you'll regret those words. I wouldn't regret destroying you where you stand. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. The only code I need to know is kill or be killed. Your ability is undeniable, but your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Trennel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Trennel and bring back his hand as proof. It will be my extreme pleasure. Now, leave. I'm sure Trennel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. You know, I don't have a lightsaber, I have a training blade. Which means bringing back a hand is going to be a messy endeavor. I'm not sure if I 100% approve of this. I only kid. Total dark side. You gotta admit though, I, or at least I have to admit, I have to admit that some of these dark side choices are just total baller answers. He, he says something like, you're going to regret that later. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Eventually, I'll get a webcam. And I'll have a little corner pocket where you can see my facial expressions during the, during the cutscenes. It'll be so good. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? Today's my lucky day. Barris granted my wish. I get to kill you now. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. Let's get this out of the way. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. Yelling at people. Getting yelled at. No, I'm amazed. I knew you were strong in the force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Venring. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death, but I die knowing my success. Go ahead, end this. You are my greatest kill to date. I will rejoice in your blood. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you. Oh, getting cut down. I'm telling you, totally baller answers. It's just like, I'm just going to kill you. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. You're just you're just gonna die. It's totally awesome. Totally awesome. Alright. Couple of tauntaun. Look at all these people hollow calling in. Bunch of cheaters. For the record, hollow calling in, and I'm sure I'll do it later on. 